on BBC Radio Scotland. Listen on BBC Sounds. Right, Ashley's had an argument with me during the news. We're talking about burgers because she's going to eat a burger after the show. And she's like saying that a burger bun <laughs> that you would eat. No, <laughs> it's two buns. It's two halves of one bun. Buns. So Ashley is claiming that if you bought just a singular burger, mm-hmm. that both bits of the bread are called buns. That would be two buns and that would be a burger between two buns. Whereas I'm arguing that is one bun that has been cut in half. And her example to me was, <laughs> do you call your bum your bum your bun? <laughs> no, your you buns. call them your buns. And I'm like, but yeah, but they're two separate elements that have been separated since birth. A burger bun you but have to cut But they're joined together. Like a brioche. Or a baguette. They're not joined together. What? How do you put it? They're not joined together. <laughs> On the other side. They're split in the middle. <laughs> but it's not a valid But how are it's they still attached to me? doesn't matter. It's not a valid comparison anyway. I call them buns. 
burger buns, the top bun and the bottom bun, it's the wrong. plural buns. It's wrong. I'm, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I don't know why you had to bring it onto the radio. I said to you, I just disagree with you fundamentally on the bun thing. And you were like, we need to come out with this David Boy song so the listeners can hear you. <laughs> My neck beard's itching. Tell them all about your bun theory. <laughs> I don't know why I made you so wet mouthed, but I did. <laughs> Especially as you're the one that's been complaining all day about it. Mm, ball my mouth so wet. It was though. It just sometimes gushes at the side, and I don't anyway, know when it comes from. You're talking nonsense about burger buns. It's buns. You don't have burger. You can do your intro now. You're listening to Ashley's Story on BBC Radio Scotland, live from Pacific Quay, joined as always by Psychic Silent Paul. We've entered into the second hour of the show in which we're talking about fashion. <laughs> <laughs> And wardrobe malfunctions. And apparently now <laughs> it's a bun, two buns. Not a bun fight. Or but but one bun. <laughs> Get in touch via text 80295. We have fun and that's the most important part. Right, let's play the next shoot next shoe, next song. It's Gladys Knight. No, why don't we just read some emails? Okay. Um Wes has been in touch and says, Hi, I've just heard the lady I've just heard a lady was at the Bibli concert. Was it good? I'm going tomorrow to see him in Aberdeen with my granddaughter. Really looking forward to it. We've had quite a few people who've been getting in touch to tell us they've seen Mr. Bibli. And yeah, I think people are enjoying it. He does a good job. He sings his wee but swing songs. I don't know what he does when it's no Christmas though. That must be weird. Yeah, he just he just swaps between them, so he's like I'm in swing mode, mm-hmm. and then it's like they press the switch at the back, and then he's like Christmas mode. Yeah, but you must get the urge because you know him for his Christmas songs to be like I know it's March, I know it's April, I know it's coming up for me. But gonna just do. Uh, it's like when you hear Noddy Holder singing out with Christmas, like and you're like, go away, Noddy, just come back when it's like Christmas time. December. And I feel like Bibli might have that. So if you did go to the Bibli concert, does he sing Christmas songs um, and just go with it? Because I would lean into it. And if he doesn't, did you miss the fact he didn't sing a Christmas song? Um, get in touch via text at 0295 or email us. What's the email, Paul? It's Ashley Story Show at bbc.co.uk. What was that? I choked on something. Mrs Harris says, I recently in the centre of Glasgow went up to a girl and told her her skirt was tucked in her tights. She was so thankful and hugged me. Mrs Harris, you're a saint. Be more like Mrs Harris. Walk a mile in her shoes. <laughs> Here's Gladys Knight and the Pips. <laughs> 